Hello and welcome to Stratera and You. My name is Dr. Kevin and I've spent the last 16 years working with ADHD adults and children, helping them to maximize their potential to embrace the gifts of ADHD and ADD. I do want to make it clear I'm not a medical doctor and in no way am I giving medical advice. I'm not diagnosing, I'm not prescribing. I'm not telling you to go on or to get off Stratera. I'm assuming you're here because you have gone out and you have started the process of thinking that either you are currently on an ADHD medication and you don't like its side effects or how you feel on it, and but you feel like you need to stay on one, or that your life is requiring you to go on one. Now that may be because you are having trouble with focusing. You may be having trouble with remembering things or paying attention at what are crucial times. And those crucial times may be crucial times for yourself or maybe crucial times for your job or even at home in your relationship where it's causing you a lot of issues. You may be having some organizational issues, time management issues. These are all quite common. Um, they're part of the side effect of having a very brilliant mind. So let's talk about Stratera and you. On the positive side, Stratera is going to bring in some of all of what's going on around here for you. Kind of the craziness, because you know, the brain comes with some craziness when you've got an ADHD or an ADD impact upon it. Because of you think of so many different things, or different ways, or weighing things, or um, different possibilities. So you want to bring that in. Well, Stratera can help do that. Stratera can help that focus part of you uh, to come in, and it's going to help you memorize things. So you, your memory will get better. Uh, and so there you go. Your memory is going to get a, a little better or maybe even a lot better. And you're going to cut off some of that outside part of the stuff that may be distracting your brain so that you can focus. It won't necessarily be the hyperfocus you're used to because what I found in over 16 years of working with this is that there are two settings, hyperfocus or multitask. And when you're really interested and engaged, you hyperfocus. Now that might be reserved for video games or racquetball or uh, something that you have taken an interest in and personally are pursuing uh, on the internet, but you know that you can focus. So now we're gonna look at that from the other side. You do Stratera, um, it's not gonna increase comprehension. And in, and in a lot of cases, uh, there is some evidence that maybe even that comprehension will go down a little bit. You'll memorize things better, but you're never not going to actually be able to apply them or have a better understanding of them. So you just want to keep that in mind. If it's strictly just the memory part, you just want to be able to take it in and spit it out in the right order, then Stratera might be for you. Now you may have been looking at Stratera because it's, a, it's not technically a stimulant though it does create some of the same side effects that stimulants create in your body. It does, it can actually create uh, some heart cardio issues uh, and it can, it does raise your blood pressure. So even though it's not technically listed as a stimulant, it acts a lot like the stimulant medications do. There are also some other side effects. Now I'm not going to pretend to know them all off the top of my head. Here's a little list I got off of drugs.com. You're welcome to go to drugs.com and, and verify it. And you know, it's less common, more common type of things. But a couple of the things that are more common, the first list here going on to the next page, um, are just things you do want to maybe be aware of. Uh, you know, fever, headache, nausea, shortness of breath, stomach discomfort, uh, uh, an inability to have or keep an erection. Guys, you want to make sure that you realize that that can be part of the problem. Also, for women, that it may uh, create problems of menstrual bleeding, an unusual stop of, of the menstrual bleeding, vomiting. So there are a lot of different side effects. Um, and you do really want to be aware of them um, and that over a long period of time, we don't know what the long-term side effects of putting this medication in your body you know, are. What I do know that in my 16 years of helping people is that ADHD people, that ADHD truly is a gift. And you are here to stand out, but you have to stand out in the right way. You want to join the other ADHDers whose names you may recognize, like Einstein, Edison, Graham Bell, Warren Buffett, Robin Williams, Michael Phelps, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, these people who have done and continue to do great things in the world and stand out 
um, and at least the ones that I mentioned did it without medication. So it can be within you, but a lot of times people dismiss the, th the more natural alternatives or ways of looking at things. You think, oh, I'm just gonna do a fish pill, or I'm just gonna, you know, try a little biofeedback. You really need a comprehensive plan um, that you put together that's tailored for you to help you move forward. Um, you can come to managingthegiftofadhd.com. That's managingthegiftofadhd.com, and I have a free ebook waiting for you. If you go to Managing the Gift on iTunes, there is an app there that is free waiting for you. If you choose to go and take the test that's on the app, I have identified 64 different shades of the ADHD rainbow, and you are one of those shades, and how what your shade is determines some of the stuff that you need to do to stand out in a good way. Last, if you're a Facebook person, my Dr. Kevin, doc, my Dr. Kevin, so backslash M Y D R K E V I N, come visit me. I'm here for you, putting out tools and techniques all the time so that you can maximize the potential of your ADHD. Namaste.